expressed, and I've heard a lot of a lot of great things about you. And we're just proud to have you here in Georgia. John, on one thing I did want to mention, as you know, in, with the budget cuts in the past years, we did lose a lot of research people, a lot of extension people. And one of the uh, research people we lost was uh, the vacancy that was never filled was a peanut pecan specialist. Yes, sir. Uh, we, um, I think it was Tom Crocker who had that position and when he retired. Uh, he's now, I think it's a county agent is sort of splitting his time. He's a county agent and pecan specialist. And as you know, that Georgia's got the largest pecan industry of any state in the, in the United States. And there's a growing industry that that's uh, especially in middle Georgia where they continue to set out new varieties. And just last year, it was a proven time, a period with so much marsh and rain and diseases we had that that is very important that we try to get a specialist, full-time specialist back. And I certainly would do everything I could to help push for that if it's a, uh, if, if we just we need to push it on your end and also an extension end. And it, I think one position would straighten that part out. Well, I appreciate the comment, uh, Representative Ray. And I can, I will promise you now that one way or another, uh, we will have a full-time position sooner rather than later and uh, pecans, I'm still, pecan, not pecans. Uh, excuse my accent, but uh, in fact, I did talk to the, the, uh, the chairman of the Pecan Commission recently and also promised him the same thing, that we will have full-time support and that we will also backfill in for the loss of the extension uh, agent when we move uh, an individual full-time into a specialist for pecans. One more. Uh, I haven't had the opportunity to sit down and talk with you, Dean, but the 1890 institution that's up for Valley State University, will that be duplication of services? Are you all going to work together and try and make sure that uh, what they're doing down there that you're not doing there? And it, uh... um, well, let me talk about my history first. Uh, I come from the University of Maryland, where we also had an 1890 school in Maryland, the University of Maryland Eastern Shore, and we worked hand in glove together. Uh, in fact, many of our programs, you could not tell the, the two apart. Our extension program was one and the same. Uh, there was no 1890 or 1862 extension program. There was one extension program that was a joint program and <coughs> jointly administered. Our research programs were um, similarly integrated. Um, I haven't seen the same level of integration with Fort Valley State University here in Georgia. Uh, but there is still a significant amount of communication. Our extension programs are, in general, well coordinated. Um, some of the Fort Valley extension agents are in our facilities and vice versa. I talk with the Dean of Agriculture uh, on, a, on a regular basis. Um, one of his uh, very close uh, colleague administrators, frankly, is one of my best friends. And so we have the opportunity to work very closely together. I think on the research side, we can do better. I think there is greater need for coordination of research between our two institutions. And that is something we're talking about. There are, there are great opportunities to do that. I think there are benefits to be had for both institutions through better cooperation. So I, I appreciate you bringing that up. Any more questions? Dean, thank you very much. I apologize for thank the you, system not being set up and I hope it hadn't made you late for your your next meeting you have to be at. No, sir. Well, thank you very much and appreciate the info. Well, I appreciate we'll being be here. We'll be calling you, trust me. Uh, Commissioner Irwin, thank you for coming and, and, and being with us today, uh, taking time out of your schedule to come over here. If there's nothing else, uh, we stand adjourned. Thank you all all for coming.